Hello everyone, welcome to WebT Plus Academy for Civil Services. It's a special video on Economic Survey 2023. And in this session, we'll be looking into the important aspect of the summary of Economic Survey, the key highlight that is relevant for the examination and the analysis part of some of the important policy that were always there by the government of India. Economic Survey per se is very important for both stages of examination, either it is prelims or mains, it contribute a lot. Even to a larger extent, it has a contribution in the AC paper as well. So the Economic Survey every year become very vital aspect for the civil services preparation. So without any further delay, let's get started. And before I start this session, we'll look into the content part of the Economic Survey for 2022 and 23. So there are 12 chapters in total that was released. There's no volume as such. Bifurcation of volume has not been there in this year also. So the total 12 chapter, the first chapter is about the state of economy 2022-23, the recovery complete. Second is India's medium term growth outlook with optimism and hope. Third is about the physical development, the revenue relish. Monetary management and financial intermediations are good here. These are the list of the chapters that is mentioned in the economic survey. Price and inflation, successful tight rope walking. Social infrastructure and employment, a big tent. Climate change and environment, preparation to face the future. Agriculture and food management, industries a steady recovery. Services a source of strength external sector and physical and digital infrastructure. From each and every chapter, the important part has been extracted in this session and I'll make you aware the things that are very relevant for the examination purposes. So how we'll be moving in this session, chapter wise complete analysis part and the summary part. And if you're new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe APT Plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube like this video if you find this video informative and helpful do not forget to press a like button so starting the session with the first chapter of the economic survey that is the state of economy 2022 and 23 recovery compete recovery from the pandemic induced contraction has been evident in the part of the indian economy uh, things are moving on on the daily part of the discussion in the daily news analysis part also, we have made a discussion that somehow the recovery has been made to the Indian economy and other things like Russia-Ukraine war conflict and even the inflation part, there were most of the sign were witnessed on a negative trend is coming back to the neutral part. So recovery from the pandemic induced contractions, Russia-Ukraine conflict and inflation is now a overcome for Indian economy. Now, GDP forecast for 2024, it has been in a range for 6 to 6.8. This is what the forecast has been made in the recent economic survey, right? Now, private consumption for H1, that is the half of the year, the highest since the financial year 2015. And this has led to boost productions of activity resulting in the enhanced capacity and utilization across the sector. So if half one year, ki baat kare, to highest in 2015. Ke year se, and this has resulted in enhanced capacity and utilization across the sector. The credit growth of the micro, small and medium enterprises sector was over 30.6% on average during January, November 2022. So the sector of MSME during the COVID-19 pandemic was not performing well. Although up is time to credit growth ki agar baat kare MSME mein, that is commendably well compared to the other years. Now retail inflation is back with RBI target range in November 2022. And even talking about Indians rupee performance is well compared to the other emerging market economy that in April till December 2022. If you talk about the direct tax collection, which is a significant part for the economy forecast, in the, for the period for April, November, it has remained buoyant and enhanced employment generation has seen declining urban employment rate. 
in the faster net registration and employee provident fund so if you talk about the epf the contribution is again on the larger side which even make it evident that the contribution of the employees are on the higher side but there's some other loopholes that is also evident in daily to daily news you can also come up with the news regarding epf of west supreme court has recently something talked about the pension part we're not getting into detail of that as such but here we're looking more into the aspect of the enhanced employment generations now if you talk about gdp growth at constant price these are some of the year wise data that is very important for you to take a glimpse of if we talk about 2019-20 this was 3.7 percent in 2021 where the covid 19 was at surge at this ap2 so this was at 6 point minus 6.6 this is what at the negative growth was now when the recovery took place the part of the growth was 8.7 percent now for this year it was 7.0 percent and anticipation for 23 and 24 is 6.0 to 6.8 percent very important number for many of the competitive examination a direct question can be framed now india medium term growth outlook with optimism and hope this is our second chapter Talking about Indian economy, which has underwent a wide-ranging structural and governance reform that strengthened the economy fundamental by enhancing overall efficacy during 2014 to 2022. So this is what the timeline between which we have seen a wide range of structural and governance reform, which has helped the strengthening of the Indian economy with improved and healthier balance sheet. the banking the non banking and the corporate sector had a fresh credit cycle that has already begun and it is evident with a double digit growth that we have seen in the bank credit over the past month right so this is what the evidential part in terms of the banking non banking and corporate sectors indian economy has stated benefiting from the efficiency gains resulting in the greater formalizations higher financial inclusions economic opportunities that is created by digital technology based economic reform if you talk about the fintech companies in the recent time has been a lot more a lot of innovation in the fintech revolution has also taken place which has ultimately helped indian economy to take a surge up now the third chapter that is the fiscal development and revenue leverage so we'll see the important aspect of fiscal development in this part so the gross tax revenue that was registered on year on year basis the growth is 15.5% from april to november and this was driven by the robust growth in the direct tax and the goods and services tax so there are two important component which is the part of the gtr that is the gross tax revenue the first being the direct tax the other is being supplemented by the gst so if you write writing specifically in the mains you can highlight even it is important for the prelims examination also growth in the direct taxes during the first 8 month of the year was much higher than the corresponding in the long term average now gst ki agar baat kare gst has stabilized and has a vital revenue resources both for the central government as well as for the state government with the gross gst collection has increased to 24.8% on year to year basis from april to december 2022 so again this number that is 24.8 is very important you need to highlight if suppose if you are writing in mains paper you have to give an example evidential example where you will quote that yes by 24.8% the collection has increased on year on year basis so this will make your answer more you know factual based and even something that is essential required for the mains part of the examination and to have a better understanding about the gst collections now the center has incentivized the state government through the interest free loan i think most of you must be aware if you are reading a daily newspaper this was there in the newspaper and the enhanced borrowing ceiling to priorities on their spending on the capex that is the capital expenditure 
Now with the emphasis on infrastructure incentive sector, which important sectors की अगर बात करें, which is mostly the infrastructure sector that include the road, highway, railways, housing and urban affairs with increased capital expenditure with large scale positive implications in the medium term growth. So कुछ specific sectors की अगर बात करें कि performance काफी अच्छी रही and government has definitely put impetus for the growth of this sector that include again the road highway rail housing and urban affairs now other chapter that is monetary management and financial intermediation a good year this is what the chapter name is now rbi has initiated its monetary tightening cycle in april 2022 and since that raised the repo rate by 225 that is 225 basic points leading to the moderation and surplus of liquidity condition now it's it's a very uh, situation if you talk about the situation that is worsening then only rbi takes such decision where it is trying to raise the repo rate you know? the condition of the economy is accordingly seen as accordingly worsened out by the rbi then only they take the decision so there's a clear balance sheet that can lead to the enhanced lending of the financial institutions and no food credit offtake by the scheduled commercial bank has been growing to the double digit since april 2022 so in terms of scheduled commercial bank also the performance is on the greater side now credit dispersed by the non banking financial company has been on rise if you see the nbfc has been dispersing the higher amount to the fintech companies to the startup that essentially required the fund to raise it right and the gross non performing asset agar jnp ki baat kare the ratio for the scheduled commercial bank has fallen to 7 year low to 5.0 again this is a factual important number that can be utilized in the mains examination now the risk to the capital to risk weight assist ratio that is known as crar has remained healthy at 6 16.0 again factually important number the recovery rate for the scheduled commercial bank through the insolvency and bankruptcy were highest in the financial year as compared to other channels so these are some of the evidential fact of the indian economy now the other chapter is on prices and inflation successful tight rope walking now india's retail inflation has picked up at 7.8% in april 2022 and above the upper tolerance level of limit 6.6 so there were many factor that has contributed to the higher rate of inflation even if you see during that time russia and ukraine was was also evident and some of the essential food item were missing in india if you talk about the oil or the basic palm oils and other oil that we import were also the cause of concern crude oil ke prices kafi zyada badhe the logistic supports na hone ke karan there were lot of things that contributed comprehensively and that has led to the higher number of the inflation that is 7.8% but uh, the tolerance level from the rbi was 6% now phase wise reductions ki gayi export duty on petrol and diesels import duty on major inputs were brought to zero while the tax on export of iron and concentration has increased from 30% to 50% reductions in the basic duty of the crude oil and refined palm oil crude soybean oil and crude sunflower oil was also an important strategy by the government of india Now the timely policy intervention by the government in the housing sector, coupled with the low home interest rate, basically, if we talk about interest rate, ki baat kare, which is again a significant part in the economy because the middle class family is being hugely impacted because of this rate. So it has popped up by demand, attract buyers for more steady and affordable segment for the financial year 2023. an overall increase in the composite house price indices this is known as hpi assessment and housing price index has marked the price index at a revival for the housing finance sector so the reductions in the interest rate has given a positive sentiments to the buyer and this has also led to the basically the amount surplus amount to the housing finance sectors the india's inflation management has been particularly noteworthy 
and been constant with advanced economy that is still grappling with the inflation rates now the other chapter is social infrastructure and employment a big tent the center and the state government budget expenditure on the health sector had touched to 2.1% of the gdp in the financial year 2023 and 2.2% in financial year 2022 against 1.6% in 2021 so this is what the budget expenditure on the health both from the center and the state government is because the impetus has been put both by the central government and state government to improve the healthcare infrastructure in the country the social sector expenditure ki agar baat kare it has increased from 21.3 lakh crore अर्लियर जहां पे 9.1 लाख करोड़ हुआ करती थी उसे बढ़ा करके गवर्नमेंट ने 21.3 लाख की दिस डेटा इज अगेन वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट एंड इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ देयर इज अ स्पेसिफिक प्रोग्राम व्हिच इज वर्किंग वेरी ग्रेट ऑन द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडियाज एंड दैट इज एस्पिरेशनल डिस्ट्रिक्ट प्रोग्राम दैट हैज इमर्ज्ड एज अ टेम्पलेट फॉर गुड गवर्नेंस स्पेशली इन रिमोट एरिया एंड डिफिकल्ट एरियाज एंड दिस प्रोग्राम has changed a lot more life in rural areas because the focus of this program is ultimate development beat its sector wise development holistic development from schools to tap water to better educations to health everything are taken into the aspirational district program now ishram portal that, that was developed for creating a national database for the unorganized worker and which is verified with aadhar is again a very important and significant step by the government of india now there's a scheme called jan this is not new although this ki full form hai jan dhan aadhar and mobile trinity this is a combined with the power of dbt that is a direct benefit transfer which has brought the marginalized section of the society into the formal financial system revolutionizing the path of transparency accountability and governance that is empowering the people तो मिडिल मैन का जो कॉन्सेप्ट था वो यहां पे खत्म कर दिया गया बिकॉज नाउ द बेनिफिशरीज कैन डायरेक्टली अवेल द बेनिफिट इन द स्पेसिफिक अकाउंट व्हिच इज देयर इन द स्पेसिफिक नेम ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल सो दिस इज हाउ द जैम ट्रिनिटी हैज हेल्प अ लॉट इन कर्बिंग द करप्शन फ्रॉम आर कंट्री लेबर मार्केट की अगर बात करें दैट हैज रिकवर्ड बियॉन्ड द प्री कोविड लेवल बोथ इन अर्बन एंड रूरल एरिया विथ द अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट फॉलोइंग फ्रॉम फाइव to 4.2% in 2021 and 20 so this is what the evidential fact in terms of labor market the enrollment of the database through eshram or the beneficiary by a dbt through the jam trinity now the financial year 2022 saw a improvement in the gross enrollment ratio better known as ger in the school and improvement in the gender parity right agar baat kare ger ki the primary enrollment for class 1 to 5th as percentage of the population from 6 to 10 years for girl as well boys has improved so it's not only specifically for boys or either for the girl it has improved for both of the genders to ek achhi news hai jahan pe dono genders mein ek achhi primary enrollment ratio dekhi gayi hai now if you talk about the out of pocket expenses now i just wanted to remind you of the fact that during the covid-19 agar covid-19 ke time mein baat kare out of pocket expenses was very high now this time out of pocket expenses in the health as percentage of the total expenditure has declined from 64.2% to 48.2% compared to this so this is again a very important data yahan pe current data hamare paas 2020 and 23 ke liye even for 22 still not there but again you can make a inference of it that how the out of pocket expenses is actually going in india now in terms of infant mortality rate better known as imr under 5 year ki jo death hai use imr ke andar calculate karte hain and the neonatal rate has shown a steady decline now the climate change and environment preparing to face the future now india has declared the net zero pledge this is something evident when the cop 27 meeting was there during the cop 27 meeting the prime minister has categorically said that india has committed to achieve all its target and even to the fact that pancha amrit initiative was there by the government of india by the prime minister himself so india has declared the net zero pledge 
to achieve the net zero emissions goal by 2070 very very important i think jo panchamrit ke pure panch initiatives hain wo aapko pata hone chahiye these are very important now india achieved the target of 40 0 40% of the installed electric capacity from the non fossil fuel ahead of 2030 this is again a milestone achievement and india can reduce the emission intensity of its gdp by 45% by 2030 from 2005 level now about 50% of the cumulative electric power installed capacity to come up with the non fossil fuel based energy sources that is by 2030 this is again the target that is set by the prime minister and uh, mass movement of life which is again a brain child of the prime minister of india life stand for lifestyle for environment was launched now in light of that the other point that is helping the environment in economical term so there is a sovereign green bond framework which is known as sgrb issued in november 2022 and rbi has recently made a auctions of two tranches of the sovereign green bond these were the part of the news that were reported in the hindu and indian express as well now green national green hydrogen missions ki agar baat kare this will enable india to be energy independent by 2047 this is a target under the national green hydrogen mission and green hydrogen mission production capacity with at least 5 million metric ton per annum will be developed by 2030 jitne bhi targets hain that is very important for you and specifically for mains examination you to have to highlight it that you know that what are the target for india in terms of green energy and clean energy now solar power capacity installed a key metric under the national solar missions has stood up at 61.6 gigawatt as on october 2022 almost 62.8 lakh individual household toilets and 6.2 lakh community public toilet that was constructed as of August 2022 under the National Mission for Sustainable Habitat. So this is a classical example which you can even use in your case study paper of general studies paper four. Now agriculture and food management is the other chapter. Private investment in agriculture has increased to 9.3 percent for 2020-21. MSP for all mandated crop has fixed at 1.5 times at all India wheat average cost of production since 2019. So this is the number of times increase in the MSP were there by the government of India to help farmer to double their income. Right? Institutional credit to agriculture sectors continued to grow to 18.6 lakh crore in 2021 and 22. The food grain productions in India has saw a sustained increase and stood at three one five point seven million ton for twenty one and twenty two. So these are again the factual information can be used here and there in written pieces in the mains examination and even uh, important for the prelims examination person. Now free food grain about eighty one point four crore beneficiaries under the National Food Security Act. for one year was there from january 1st 2023 and even organic farming being promoted through the farm produce organization is fpos kehte hain under the paramparagat krishi vikas yojana so this is again a scheme which is helping the rural india and ensuring that the fpo are helping out to get something that for the traditional part of the farming is there in india india stand at the forefront to promote the millet through the international year of millet initiative this is year 2023 which has been uh, declared as a international year of millet by un again very important question for many other competitive examination now the other chapter is the stud industry the steady recovery the overall agar baat kare gva ki that is the gross value added by the industry sector for the first time it rose up to 3.7% In terms of PMI, manufacturing has remained a expansion zone for 18 months since July to 2021 during the pandemic time, and the index on industrial productions has grown at healthy pace. And even it was a fact that most of you must be aware that IIP ki jo performance thi kafi zada negatively perform kar rahi thi. Sare sectors IIP ke negatively perform kar rahe the, but now it is at healthier pace. 
Now, one thing that is important here, uh, what is IIP? Kitne core important sectors? Eight core important sectors hai, which is important for examination. This is not mentioned on the economic survey, but I'm giving you out of the box something that will help you for the exam. Uh, the part is refinery products, electricity, steel, coal, crude oil, natural gases, cement, and fertilizer. So these are the eight important sector that comprises IIP or index on industrial productions. Now, electronic export rise is nearly threefold from 4.4 billion in financial year 19 to 111 in financial year 2022. So, so these are the changes that we have seen in the electronic export by threefold. Now, India has become the second largest mobile manufacturer globally, with the productions of handset going up from 6 crore unit to 29 crore unit in financial year 2021. And even uh, major giants like Apple, Samsung, Xiaomi, Realme, if you beat any brand they are operating in India, they are having their manufacturing unit in India. So it's a pride moment for India that a lot more companies are operating with India. Now, foreign direct investment flows into the pharma's industry, which has seen a four time higher side. Now, from 180 million in the financial year 19, the number is 699 million in financial year 2020. So it's a huge number, it's a big number, which we have seen four time increase compared to the, to the financial year 2019, which is 180 US dollar. The production link incentive, PLI schemes, were introduced in 14 sector across the categories and all these sectors were commonly benefited through this scheme and a lot more benefit is also the part of the progress that has helped this sector through the PLI schemes. Now, I've talked about the industries, some brief that I'll be giving you in a glimpses so that a revision can help you. Help. Now, enhanced manufacturing capacity, ki agar baat kare, PLI scheme, ki, it has given the employment generations to 3 lakh people. More than 100 beneficiaries are there in terms of MSME. Investment of around 47,500 crore rupees for financial year 2022. Now, Make in India 2, that cover 24 sub-sectors. Enhancing the ease of doing business, a reform has been implemented. All compliances which was there has been reduced and the provision has been decriminalized. 3,500 provision has been decriminalized by the government of India. Now, services, a source of strength. In this, the service sector is experiencing and expecting a growth at 9.1 in financial year 2023 against uh, 8.4, which was there in financial year 2022. This is on year on year basis. Now, credit to service sector has grown over 16% since July 2022. Sustained growth in the real estate is taking the house in to the pre-pandemic level with 50% rise between 2021 and 2022. Hotel occupancy rate has also improved. This is now the number is 30 to 32% in April to 60 to 70% in November 2020. So these are the number which is showing a gradient high value in terms of the uh, hotel occupancy rates. Tourism sector is showing a sign of revival during the COVID-19. This was a sector which was hugely impacted. A lot more people who were associated with the tourism sector, with the hospitality sector has lost their livelihood option. But now it's a sign of revival. It's a positive sign. Now, digital platform are transforming in the financial services and India's e-commerce marketplace is projected to grow at 18% annually throughout 2025, which is again a great number for the Indian e-commerce market. Now, services, ki agar baat kare, the growth of the sector is there. A strong growth is there in the service sector. PMI services have witnessed a strongest expansion. Credit growth is again high on the above. That is 16%. 75 digital banking unit has been announced. Or kuch sectors ki agar baat kare, like fashion, grocery, gender, merchandise, you know, and even capture nearly two-thirds of the Indian e-commerce market. So these are the part that is taking in terms of the development and helping the service sector, not only in the industry, but the people they are associated who are working with the sector as well. Now, external sector, again, an important part in the economy. Merchandise export, this is 332.8 billion as of April to December 2022. 
और इंडिया ने डाइवर्सिफी अब डाइवर्सिफाइड की है अपनी मार्केट को एंड इवन इंक्रीज द एक्सपोर्ट टू कंट्री लाइक ब्राजील साउथ अफ्रीका एंड सऊदी अरेबिया वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट स्पेसिफिकली फॉर द प्रम्स एग्जामिनेशन एंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ द कंप्रिहेंसिव इकोनॉमिक पार्टनरशिप एग्रीमेंट नोन एस कीपर इंडिया ने यू ए के साथ एक्सटेंड किया एंड इवन ई सी टी ए विद ऑस्ट्रेलिया दैट हैज कम इन टू द फोर्स सो दिस थिंग्स हैज हेल्प इंडिया एंड इंडिया डायस्पोरा लिविंग इन द रीजन Now, India is the largest recipient of remittances in the world. That is, hundred billion in 2022. It's again a big number in terms of remittances that any country is receiving. India is the world largest remittances receiving country, and remittances are the second largest major source of external finance in the service export. As of December, the forex reserve stood up to 563 billion, covering 9.3 percent month of import. and the end of the november india is the sixth largest forex exchange reserve holder in the world now i'll show you which are the countries upon which the remittances are mostly being sent to india so if you if you see the part of the top remittance res, you know, recipients countries so the ranking is again very important a direct question in the prelims examination can be framed in the increasing or decreasing order So first is India followed by Mexico then we have China Philippines Egypt Pakistan France Bangladesh Nigeria and Vietnam so these are the top countries that are the top remittances recipients now in the external sector part as i've told you merchandise export badi hai this is for your revision purposes india is the seventh largest service exporter in the world largest recipient of the remittances and india has a better place in terms of comfortable forex reserve with low external debt ratio now physical and digital infrastructure the last component and we look into the important part of the development that has took place the digital infrastructure and physical infrastructure now first among the physical infrastructure ki agar baat kare the infrastructure part of the development in terms of the public private partnership in principle approval was granted to 56 project and the total project of 57870 crore under the vgf scheme was there if you talk about the national infrastructure pipeline which is again and a significant and important part of the project by government of india the nip project monitoring group portrayed like a fast track approval and clearance for the project now national monetization pipeline this is again a significant part where 9.0 lakh crore rupees is estimated to be cumulative investment potential there is a gati shakti mission the pm gati shakti national master plan that create a comprehensive database for integrated physical and synchronized implementation across the ministry and this gati shakti mission is also looking forward for a proper coordination by the national master plan which will call for a synchronization of all the project that is there by the government of india to ek khas kar ke efficiency badhane ki bhi koshish ki gayi hai through the national master plans now it aims to improve the multimodal connectivity the logistic efficiency that will address the critical gap and seamless movement of people and the goods so if you're writing an example and even if you're highlighting the point you definitely need to put this example in the mains paper electricity sectors and renewables ki baat kare as of now uh, 30th september 2022 the government of india has sanctioned the entire capacity of 40 gigawatt for the development of 59 solar park in 16 states now making india logistic globally competitive the national logistic policy 2020 which was envisaged by the government of india that envisioned to develop the technological enabled integrated system which is cost effective resilient sustainable and trusted logistic ecosystem in the country for accelerated and inclusive growth now there is a rapid increase in the highway if you talk about the development of highway it's a lot more highway that has been built across the india road constructions ki agar baat kare with 10475 kilometers of national road constructed as compared to 6000 in the financial year 60 right 
the budget expenditure has increased from 1.4 lakh crore to 2.4 lakh crore rupees which is you know given push to the capital expenditures almost double the number that is there. nearly doubling the capacity of major port in 8 years this is what the achievement in terms of the logistic part development and india's vessel act 2021 has been replaced by 100 year old act to ensure a hassle free movement of the vessel promoting inland water transport ek bahut hi significant event hai jo usme aapke mains ke sawal direct puche ja sakte hain this is something very important for the mains examination now india's digital public infrastructure ki baat kare so first is upi if you see upi since the covid 19 was there during the pandemic lockdown this has taken a surge and the toll was there the upi transition the value has increased by 121% in terms of the uges and the volume is 115 in terms of uh, between for this 2019 and 22 paving the way for international adoptions digital public goods ki agar baat kare achieved low accessibility since the launch of aadhar in 2019 now under the government of schemes some of the important and prominent scheme which call for digital public goods the first among them is my scheme treds gem e nam and umang these are the schemes that has actually transformed and enabled the citizen to access service across the sector now legislation are also being introduced to enhance the user privacy create an ecosystem and standard open interoperability protecting and underlining the robust data governance in our country although kai aise cases bhi hue jahan pe central government ne privacy ko kafi zyada sensitively handle kiya and even supreme court has said that right to privacy is very important in case puttaswami judgment cases if you are writing specifically on that part make sure you are using this as an example now the part of lifting potential kuch important highlights ki agar baat kare pm gati shakti national master plan for seamless movement national monetization pipeline upi transition maine aapko batayi hai national logistic policy is helping the india's logistic competitive globally the capacity of major ports nearly double in 8 year open network for digital commerce in pipeline and open credit enablement that is network for democratizing lending and operations part now a snapshot of indian economy whatever the part of the development process that took place there is a snapshot of the performance of the indian economy so this is what a snapshot is first talking about the fiscal deficit if you can see for 2019 20 this 4.7 then it was 9.2 for 2021 to 6.7 and now it is 6.4 forex reserve has drastically increased from 2019 it was 478 then a toll to 577 607 and 563 right again this was higher in 2021 and 22 in terms of agriculture and elite sector gva ki agar baat kare these are the number 5.3 3.3 3.0 and 3.5 this is the average inflation that is evident in this about cpi and wpi services ki agar baat kare in terms of growth 6.3 during covid 19 lockdown this was minus 7.8 and again 8.4 expected to grow by 9.1% and if you talk about the industrial growth it was there at negative during 2018 19 during covid 19 it was minus 3.3 and for 20 was 10.3% and now it's expected that substantially it will grow by 4.1 year on year basis so this was a complete snapshot of the economic survey that was recently tabled in the parliament so this was all about for the analysis and summary part of the video if you like this video do uh, like this and if you have not if you are new to our channel subscribe to the channel if you have any other concern you can let to know and you can ask to us we'll be more than happy to assist you for time being i'm signing off thank you so much for watching this